Hello everybody, my name is Lars Fontinen from Wentotrade.com. We have April, or uh, the beginning of April, and I want to share with you an interesting cycle study which I just prepared and I think has some interesting facts within. So what do I want to share with you today? So I think we have a lot of Bitcoin hype and media hype around this uh, new virtual currency which is in the media right now just based on this parabolic move of the Bitcoin exchange rate here plotted against the US dollar so you see a steep parabolic up move here uh, into the 130 40 US dollars per one Bitcoin so this is the exchange rate which just got parabolic and we have a lot of media attention on this uh, virtual currency um yeah the big question is so uh, what wh what do we get out of it do you get any clue out of this um most just just relate to a parabolic move but uh, most most articles you read i think nobody knows what to get of it and i think most what you read about it regarding the bitcoin hype is 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 just wrong because most just even know doesn't didn't know what behind so um i want to give you some some interesting facts um that there is a great cycle embedded in this chart. I think no one will, will be able to see it if you just look at this chart. Everybody just sees the parabolic move. But th there are some, some very interesting cycle in it and I want to go over it with you just within a minute. But um, before we go into the details, uh, let's have a look at this Bitcoin chart here. So on the left side you see the Bitcoin Bitcoin US dollar exchange rate charted. You see the parabolic move which is here and on the right side you also see the Bitcoin US dollar chart with this parabolic up move here. So if you compare the left chart and the right so chart do you see any difference? Is it the same chart? Just take a second and, and, and just compare these two charts. They look exactly the same with this parabolic up move just go down to the timeline so this is the current current situation as we have April 2013 today with this up move here into the 140s and this was a situation in June 2011 yeah, where we had this um, similar up move just from w one US dollar up to t 25 so from from the from the chart situation we have now exactly the same situation as we ha as we had in June 2011 so if you're familiar with the bitcoin history uh, you know what the situation was in June 2011 and wha what was the media coming uh, comments about this uh, parabolic move so there we traded at 20 and everybody said this was the parabolic move and now we're trading at 130 40 so these two charts look exactly the same and this is this is what has to to, to get your attention so um, just if you if you zoom out now into the the, the current situation with this chart um, the, the, the the problem is okay um, that um, yeah if we just move it up <laughs> you you will not see or, or this parabolic up move here uh, will will not be visible as, uh, just if you zoom in so um, I was I just wanted to highlight if you just concentrate on the situation as it was in uh, yeah June June 2011 the chart looked exactly the same um, as it is looking today so please please do your due diligence uh, before you start to rate or to, to comment on this chart we had exactly the same situation just one and a half years ago in the Bitcoin exchange rate so this is just just the beginning but yeah let's let's go back to our question wh wh what do we get out of it um, so j just just today we have t two two main charts which are qu quite important and and just g everyone gets get a big headache about it so the Dow is just at this big all-time high you just went up all this time just into this area and the, the Bitcoin US dollar exchange rate just exploded in a parabolic up move here so <laughs> where's the cycle is anybody seeing a cycle here I think um qu quite quite fairly hard to see if you just compare these two charts where are the cycles embedded in these two charts um just give me five minutes and I show you that there's a very important uh, cycle embedded here into these two charts so 
first of all, why do I think that the Bitcoin exchange rate is, is important? So, I don't want to, to rate uh, the current price of a Bitcoin in US dollar, if it's fair or not. The interesting point is that, that Bitcoin is a complete new uh, virtual currency, um, which is completely different from the current monetary system and money supply. Um, yeah, uh, with the current, with the common cur currencies. So, and this is very important. So, if you see and shift towards the Bitcoin currency, this has to do with sentiment. So, if the Bitcoin exchange rate rises and and is going to the moon, this means that our sentiment is shifting, that we have a big mistrust against the current monetary system and think that it's better to move to another independent virtual currency system which is the Bitcoin system and there are not much alternatives uh, around here so with with these big shift in price for the Bitcoin exchange rate um, you have a great measurement of our, our current uh, sentiment and feelings and trust in the current monetary system and, and this big explosion or up move um, just means that the mistrust um, uh, against the current monetary system is, is very high and there's a lot of fear um, against the, 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 the current monetary system and money supply with these exchange rate now so you have to be on high high alert if you see such sentiments extremes in the Bitcoin rate so this is why I think it's important to anal analyze the Bitcoin exchange rate it's an it's a measurement of sentiment uh, regarding the monetary system um, and now if you got this idea then it gets quite important to analyze the Bitcoin rate um, and how, how it changed during the last two years because if you see the Bitcoin rate and, and the volatility of the Bitcoin rate just as a measurement of sentiment r related to our monetary system then you, you will be able to get a clue out of it because if, if the mistrust against the monetary system is high the market w would be just in front of a, a crash or something like this because we don't trust in the current market anymore so so this is my question or this is the important thing if you're familiar with my work I, I love cycles uh, uh, so I'm, I'm a cycle researcher and I, I love to analyze sentiment cycles uh, for the main um, Dough index. So what I want to show you now is how to get a clue out of Bitcoin sentiment cycles in relation to the market to the Dow Jones index. So this is the next step I will, I will put you with me. So the first thing is um, instead of charting the Dow Jones index priced in US dollars this is, the, this is the normal way of charting the Dow Jones index it's priced in the US dollars we will start to chart the Dow in Bitcoins which means that we just uh, uh, use the exchange rate Bitcoin against the US dollar uh, and divide this exchange rate for the current dough US dollar price and then we get the dough priced in, in Bitcoins and, and, and this is the chart so this is the chart for the Dow Jones index denominated in Bitcoins it looks quite different but I will go with, uh, over it with you in, in, in just a minute so these price movements here um, it's just the Dow Jones index priced in bitcoins on the logarithmic scale here so here we are today with a big drop in the Dow Jones index you can say the Dow Jones crashed measured in bitcoins um, so now we have a combined view for the Dow Jones and the bitcoin combined in one chart so now we see the Dow Jones index priced in bitcoins here so and now we have combined both views into one chart so uh, and now let's see where the sentiment now comes into play um, we have to find the important periods here so the important uh, points are um, th the crashes or the big drops of the Dow Jones index so the first big crash after this upturn here occurred here in April uh, of 2011 so April 2011 was was the first important crash in for the Dow Jones here. Then if we go forward in time the next big crash occurred here in 
in end of November, beginning of December, at this point in time here, and uh, the third crash occurred in, in yeah, somewhere uh, end of June, beginning of July 2012, and the fourth crash just occurred just in January. So here, the, here you can see the, the four points uh, which are important on this chart here. So we have four crashes which can be identified um, just plotting the Dow Jones against the Bitcoins. So the first one just st started in April 2011 then we had this up move here. The, th the second one started in um, yeah beginning of end of November, beginning of December 2011. Uh, then we had this this crash here, then we had this sideways move into uh, the beginning of July, then we saw this third big drop into this area here, then we had this sideways move into until uh, January 2013 and uh, the fourth crash started in January for 2013 and it's just, just ongoing here. So um, the next chart shows these periods just a little bit highlighted. It's, it's the same chart um, just just a different uh, res uh, resolution here. So the crash one, as as is outlined here, started in April 2011 with this period here. After this, it followed the up move here into the end of November. So the second crash started in December uh, 2011. It's wrong here. December 2011. Here, this situation here, the crash started. Then we had the sideways move until. Um, yeah, the beginning of July uh, 2012. So please excuse the date here is a little bit wrong. This is July 2012 for crash three. Then we after this crash we had the sideways move here into the beginning of um, January 2013. So um, now we see a crash in the Dow Jones or a big drop in the Dow Jones for April 2011 for December 2011, for July 2012, and for January 2013. Um, now you might ask me oh, oh, what does it mean? So um, now let's see, let, or let, let's map these market crashes onto the Dow now back and charted in US dollars. And, and this is just the next chart. So um, the, the, the first the first crash started in April 2011. So April April 2011 is is this period here. If we go up, you see it marked here by this by this yellow quarter here. So the Dow Jones Bitcoin crash one started in April 2011. So if you now count four months into the future, so one uh, uh, one the first month, second month, third month, fourth month. So the first months. In the first month, in July 2011, we had this big market crash beginning in the Dow Jones. So, for the f in the fourth month following the crash in the uh, which occurred uh, um, charted in bitcoins, the crash occurred in the in the real market, as as outlined here. So now let's move forward to the second point in time, which is December 2011. The second crash in the Dow Jones and Bitcoin started in December 2011 here. So now let's move into the December 2011. Is this one here? It's just marked on the chart with this yellow quarter here. This is this was the second time we saw the big drop in the Dow Jones measured in bitcoins. So now the interesting points come becomes visible if you now count again four months into the future. So one, two, three, four. This is the fourth month after the crash uh, uh, in bitcoins. The market crash in the in the real market occurred. So you can see this here. So four months later, you have seen this big drop in the real market here. So um, now now we can see a cycle here. The, the cycle which we see here now is just four months after the crash of the Dow charted in bitcoins, the crash was become visible in the in the real market uh, measured in US dollars. So and now you see a cycle here, and let's move forward. the The third crash occurred in uh, the beginning of July 2012. So in July 2012, we saw this big drop here of the Dow Jones um, charted in in bitcoins. So 
for 11 let's move forward July 2012 is this period here so again marked with this yellow quarter here so this was the start of the crash of the dough in bitcoins now let's go four months into the future one two three four and in the fourth month you see again this big drop in the real market for the Dow Jones index here so now the cycle has has become real for the third time so the market crash occurred four months after the crash has been seen in the Bitcoin chart so now let's move forward the fourth crash now and for the Dow charted in Bitcoin started in January 2013 as can be seen here so and now if we map this to the current situation so January 2013 is this period again marked with a quarter here on the chart this was the fourth crash we have seen in the Bitcoin chart for the uh, for the Dow Jones in the bit rated in bitcoins now let's move for four months into the future one two three four which means that the current situation is April 2013 this is this is the current day so if you just move this cycle into the future we would expect the same to happen in April 2013 so can you see the cycle now so I, I, I think it will become quite easy to spot the cycle here again so um, and it's just based on these two charts here so uh, what I wanted to show you what you can do with cycle analysis uh, with just two charts which are quite important for today's situation um, wh where any any researcher will be will be will be will be, will be have hard times to see any cycle but if you know how cycles work and how, wh what Bitcoin has has uh, in correlation to sentiment for the current markets and I think this is the most important point to get but no one writes about it uh, this is where I go crazy you have a lot of media attention but no one writes about it that Bitcoin is a big sentiment measurement against the current market here so and this is important to analyze so now if you move to, to shard the dough measured in bitcoins um, yeah then you have these four starting points in the dough and if you map this to the to the current market you will see the cycle that four months after the crash occurred in the Dow Jones first drop second drop third drop and now let's see if the fourth drop will come into play so I just wanted to show you some basics on cycle analysis and how you can get the current media hype related to Bitcoin and related to this major market chop if you combine this you will see an, a very interesting cycle let's let's monitor this cycle and now during the next days um, thanks for listening and I hope this was interesting for you to watch thanks for your listening and for sure if you want to see other videos or material I will just invite you to my when to trade website there's a there's a big cycles learning repository with a lot of free videos um, uh, how, what I'm doing with cycles on, on on the markets here so if you're interested in more just just move over and and uh, just watch some videos thanks for your attention bye